Yo, Bugsy, it says here they got something called the Vegas Mob Talk. Yeah, Bobby, ain't you heard? It's all about our old friends, Sam G and Connor, Meyer Lansky, Mo Davis, and of course yours truly, Bugsy Siegel. Are you kidding? A mob tour about us? Yeah, they take you to where we used to hang out and to all the places where we used to do our crimes. You mean they expose all our secrets? Yeah, but it's okay, because we ain't around anymore. So, let's face it, <laughs> we can't get busted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think we can sneak on board and check this out? Of course we can. Forget about it. They'll never even know we're there. Hey everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Adam Flowers here, Red this Day on December 29th. So, uh, glad to see you guys. Missed you for a couple of weeks because got busy. Work. All that. Anyway, here we go. Mob vlog. Red, we met. How are you doing today? I am happy. The windows are open and it's 80 degrees out. Oh, I don't want to hear about that. I got a cardigan on, man. I'm about to go to out in the damn cold. It's the cold. It's the cold outside. That's what's happening in Vegas, man. Let me I remember. I remember Ghost Springs, where I couldn't even get up. <laughs> yeah, Good Springs. I, I was out there last night. It was freezing, man. I had that long underwear on. <laughs> it was super cold out there. Um, it's good to see you, Red. I, I know we've missed the last couple of weeks of the holidays, Christmas, all of this going on. I saw you did a couple of live feeds and uh, broadcasts, and uh, and and we were talking the other day, and somebody, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say your name, which I'm not gonna say your real name, but Mikey D on the channel called me and said, "Hey, I don't know if you know about this, but guess whose place is for sale?" And I went and took a look. And then I showed it to Red, and we would, you know, let's do an episode about this, because I think you guys are going to really, uh, uh, really enjoy this. <clears throat> so, a co couple quick shout-outs first, <clears throat> before we get going here. Uh, Bar Light Broker, the return of the Max, good to see you. Uh, Tweak 2, uh, <clears throat> Big Tuna, Migzag Jan, hello from Scotland. Wow, Migzag Jan, hello. Good to have you with us today. Uh, William Davidson, how are you? Sean Pender, Bill Walsh. Um, it's good to see you guys. Mark Arivi, Bobby Bag of Donuts, Paul Spagnola. Uh, it's good to see you guys. Holman Sanders, Gregory Hart from Florida, Eric G. Uh, and, and you know, if you guys, if you're watching this and it's already been broadcast, just queue up five minutes. But I, I can't, I got to say hello to all the prescribers. I just have to. I think it would be rude not to. Ralph Conte. You it's miss good to him. See you. you miss yeah, him, guy. <laughs> and, and, and I haven't seen him. AOL, Frank Ferraro. It's good to see all you guys. Mickey Griggs, um, good to have you with us. We're going to jump into this in a, a couple of minutes here and get going. But um, Liam from Scotland as well. Hey, two people from Scotland right now watching? Come on. Seriously. <laughs> William Davidson, you can't wait to get Red's book. Order one. You'll get one. It was just shipped. It was just shipped, oh, though. You just shipped it. Well, then, you'll be, getting it. you'll be getting it shortly. What can, what can I say? Um, yeah, press the like button, everybody. If you're just coming in, hit the like button. And let's um, let's uh, get going. Catherine Guerrero, good to see you. Prochetto guy, nice, from Louisiana. Tweaked, too. My dad was good friends with Frank Schweiss and Butch Petroselli. Harry Aylman was my aunt's childhood sweetheart, and they kept in touch up until his death. A very cool tweak, too. Thanks for stopping in and sharing that. Uh, Randy Rhodes um, from Canada. Rip Frank. Rest and in peace. William Davidson. Yeah. Good to see all of you guys. So, <clears throat> so let's get going here, guys. And we're going to jump right into this. All of you know who uh, Joe Lombardo is. Shy Girl, 219, new fan. Well, awesome, Shy Girl. Hit the like Shy button. Shy Girl, tell your, your friends book about went out it. today. Your, your book went out today. Ah, and you bought a book from Red. Cool. Philip Anas, Anastasi? Anastasi? Anastasi. Yeah, Anastasi. Sorry, Phil. Uh, Philip Anastasi from South Philly. Welcome in, guys. Um, good to see you. Bill Walsh. Bill Walsh. Red, you remember tonight? To, no, I do nope, not. Nope, sorry, don't know that one. <laughs> You're welcome, shy girl. 
Okay, so this is what that was uh, brought to my attention by uh, Mikey D, who um, who I am going to, uh, I'm not going to say your real name, but Greg Polly, thank you very much for coming in. It's good to see you, Greg. For those of you who don't know who Greg is, uh, Greg's a subscriber, has been around for a while, and uh, not too long ago, maybe about, uh, I don't know, two months ago, it was still warm out, but Greg came out. Uh, to Las Vegas and did the mob tour. That's Greg. Hey everybody, we're here at the Tuscan. He just got done doing the mob tour with Greg. Greg was on board. Greg's been a prescriber for a long time. What'd you think of the tour, Greg? It was wonderful to actually see all of the locations live as you're rolling by. Great job here, Adam, on giving us the narration right on score each time. Every block, every stop sign, you had it going, man. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> thanks for taking the tour. And hey, happy birthday. He's 70 years old today. Ah, that's good for 70. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. Yeah, that's Greg. I don't think there was anybody that's ever gone on your tour that didn't like it. No. Uh, you know, I got to say, there's every once in a while, there's somebody that just really, uh, you know, has. has it. Yeah, well, there's what, one in a hundred? One, probably one in a thousand. Yeah, okay. you know, I'm not pizza. I can't make everybody happy. <laughs> Benny Fazio. Hey, Adam Red. Hope you had a good Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. It just snowed in Chicago yesterday. Well, I hope you enjoy that snow because I'm out here. It might be cold, but I sure as hell am, I'm not able to shovel the sunshine. You know what I mean? Benny, Benny right. look at my channel. You, I did a Christmas greeting before and after. There you go. Um, <clears throat> all right. So let's jump into this. And um, let me share. Uh, let me share a screen here with you guys. Now, if you guys are watching on a small device, you might want to consider watching this on a larger device. But we're going to show you the best that we can. Um, and this right here is, should I say, was where uh, Joe Lombardo lived. On the right hand side. That's it. On the right hand side, this building right here, which uh, the address is uh, two twenty. Sorry. 2210 Ohio Street 2, 2, 10, in Chicago. Yeah. 2210 Ohio Street. That's it right there. And uh and Reggie That's said now famous, this is a off to off to, use your arrow. That's a famous gangway in between the white building. Yeah. That's how he used to walk back to his garage. There was a gate back there. Right in between these two buildings yes. and this gangway? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go inside the house, this building, it's for sale. And, uh, and, and Redfin put a 3D walkthrough up online. Anybody can go do this. So it's not like, you know, I mean, anybody can go do this. So let's jump inside the house. It's open to the public. Okay. So. <laughs> that was so the Red, living room. You were in this room. Yes, I was. Okay. And hold on one second. Joe Collada, Merry Christmas, Joe. I hope that you Merry and Christmas, your family. Joe. And a happy new year Christmas. coming. Yes. I do hope that 2022 is better for everyone. You and me <laughs> that's, both. <laughs> that's what we always want, right? So, uh, Benny Fa uh, Fazio, I do not know. Uh, Red is supposing that it is owned by Lombardo's family still. And the reason being that Red says that it probably is, is it's got a lot of Joe's stuff in the house. A lot. A lot. We're going to show it to you as we walk around in here. Um, but notice the, notice the crystal chandelier here <laughs> with the, the red drapes. And this this wallpaper over here, this is with this filigree that pattern on it. Wallpaper. That was flock wallpaper. It's out of the seventies. That's flock wallpaper, huh? Yeah. That's fuzzy when you touch it. Oh right? yeah. It was very popular in the seventies. So same um uh same whoops, same in here in this room. Right. There is uh yeah. yeah. And let me you enlarge this screen. Those pictures, can you add them? Can I what? You can't focus in on the pictures, can you? These here? Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, I can blow them up. That's as close as I can get. By the way, for all of you, all of you people that are watching this, understand: in every room, there is a, a motion sensor. There's a motion sensor in every room. Every room is alarmed in this house. Every room. Which will show you the alarm. The top floor. We'll show you the alarm alarm system. Shy Town uh, Savage. That's beautiful. What is that? Velvet. It's a crushed it's, velvet. It's like a crushed velvet. They called it flat paper. Could you repeat that? You broke up a little. They called it what? And flock. F L O. CK flock wallpaper. You can look it up okay. online. Lock wallpaper. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember it as a kid. I remember, you know, walking around in the eighties and there were still people that had this stuff on their walls from the sixties and seventies. And it yeah, I remember touching it as a kid and it was really soft and it uh, you know, and it felt uh it felt nice. So but it always absorbed cigarette smoke, cigar smoke, and everything else. <laughs> it was like uh drapes, you know. Sure, yeah. They're going to hold all the smell in. So that's an old telephone there, Red. Yes, it is. And I was surprised because I actually watched him use that phone. That was a live phone. It had a dial. Wow. Got a picture of Jesus next to it. There's a lot of religious pictures in here. Yeah. Marion was very religious. Very religious. Okay. So let's take a walk through this uh, checkered hallway. Let's go into the checkered hallway here. And uh, take a look around. More of that. Uh, well, let's Don't walk forget into... to picture the clown on the wall. <laughs> well, that's down. That's the basement, right? That's the basement. Let's walk into this room quickly. Here, there's a little uh, that same type of wallpaper here on the wall, isn't it? Is that the same, or is that? Uh, no, that's flock. Different... It's just a different color. It's a different color, right? Different pattern. So, nice little room here. You had to put that stuff up with wheat paste. You had to use wheat paste to put it up. You just got to roll it and stick it. Yeah, put wheat paste up first. And whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of paste? Wheat. Wheat you know, paste. There's oats and there's wheat. <laughs> wheat. Yeah. W a t a t. Yeah. Wheat paste. Wheat paste. You mix it with water, and you put you roll it up, and then you have to you know brush it out and brush all the bubbles out. It's hard to put up. I used to put up a lot of it, so I know. <laughs> Um, Scott H, what the flock did they use this place for? <laughs> you know, they <lived> there. <laughs> what? Bobby Bag of Donuts, what the flock, Red? <laughs> you, guys yeah. are, you guys are hilarious. It's three-dimensional. Yes, it's three-dimensional. This is, yes, Scott, this is where uh, Joey the Clown Lombardo lived. Um, where's the bar? So the bar is in the front. We're going to get to the bar. This is That's the bathroom. So that bathroom's been remodeled. Okay. So let's step That's out of the bathroom. Boudoir. We'll go back into the whoops, the hallway here. <laughs> well, they don't make that very easy to navigate, do they? No, they let's don't. I again. got caught in one of the rooms once. <laughs> Let me jump back to here, I think. I gotta, okay, there we go. Now I can step back. Sorry if I'm making you guys a little sick. I'm trying not to. I'm just going to doing this slowly so that we can move through the the house here and, and not get any crazy sickness. But okay, here you go. So here's the dining room. This is the top floor, by the way. This is floor three, dining room right here. And directly across from the uh, dining room, there's a case here against this wall. And there's, there's some Julius. knickknacks. There's Julius right there. Yep. Right there is a statue of Julius Caesar. And if you look over my shoulder, you see, uh, let me hold him up for you. Ah. I don't know if I can get around here. All right, Red, Red, just turn your chair a little. Everyone can see. Oh. Just scoot to the side just to, yeah, there you go. No, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it's backwards on the camera. It screws me up sometimes. You've got the exact same statue sitting there behind you there we go what? he right <laughs> we both got the same place <laughs> they look very they similar them. yeah they look similar uh randy rhodes is joe still alive no um <laughs> no. no he he died in jail 
Uh, Craig5835 is um, <clears throat> also noticing this. Uh, Scott H., what neighborhood is this place located? Um, Scott, it is located uh, at 22, sorry, 2210 Ohio Street, right? It's almost Ashland uh, in Ohio, so it's kind of the patch. Right. Benny Fazio is just asking that. They called that neighborhood the patch, right? Right. Yes. Okay, so let's get back to uh, to the inside here and look around a bit more, show you guys some more of this uh, place. Now, the kitchen, this is... <laughs> This kitchen in here, man, this is something. Look at you the wallpaper the, on the ceiling. Adam, look at the ceiling. Back up and look at the ceiling. It's like they had water leaks or something like that. There's damage. To the yeah, ceiling. yeah. I don't yeah, we don't want to point out all the damage. Okay. Yeah. So, so the house needs some repairs. Every every house needs a repair. Anybody who owns a house knows that you never stop repairing a house. Especially so, if you haven't been living in it for a while. Uh-huh. And look at look at this now. You got it, it looks like a sub zero side by side doesn't it i think that yep. is a sub-zero actually yeah that's a sub-zero <laughs> says it on the tag there so <clears throat> wow that's something that's a kitchen and they must have loved that wallpaper to put the wallpaper onto the damn ceiling <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen wallpaper on a ceiling but hey you know i do it i do it <laughs> i'm sure you would i'm sure oh my dear okay now the the, front, the stained glass is beautiful in the kitchen. I love the stained glass, and the dishwasher has that wood panel on the front of it, just like all the cabinet doors do. Um, and let's go walk over here. This is another another area. Now you guys ask about the bar. Here's the bar. Okay, <laughs> the bar is right back in here, and if you walk through. There's the bar, those two bar stools right there, right. and the bar over here on the right. And then in this room, there is a, a wall air conditioning and a TV sunk into the wall over here on the right. And then there here's was the den. bar. Den? Yeah, see Looks the like air conditioner in the wall? Yeah, I the see light. the air conditioning in the wall, and, uh, and I see the TV that they... They sunk into the wall uh, to make it look like a flat screen before flat screens happened. That was an entertainment center, yeah. And there's the there's the bar. I like above the bar too. You see the uh, the stained glass. Yes. Which is in front of the fluorescent lights. That's a neat look. I, I always like that. It's there was the light. There was the light was above it. The uh, uh, fluorescent lights were above it. So when you turned it on, you could see the glass. And it was very nice. Very, very nice. Tedford Von Patriot, thank you very much. What the flock over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Scott H., it's it's stained so snipers can't get a clear shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory L. Hart, does it have a gold toilet? You guys have the, the, the greatest questions. Um, no. This was not Hugh Hefner. No. This was not Donald Trump. This was Joey. <laughs> I guess, Scott H., I guess crime does pay until it doesn't, you know. Um, the TV is deeper than it is wide. Oh, yes, the TV is deeper than it's wide. Old tube TV. Um, Beetlejuice wouldn't be acting as mayor. Oh, if, if Joey was still around. That's funny. Okay, so let me, let's walk back out of this room and let's continue on through this house a little bit more and explore some more. So the room behind the den is, oh my God, they did it in here too with the wallpaper on the ceiling. Check this out. Oh yeah. Oh my plaid. Holy yeah. plaid. What the plaid is going on in here? <laughs> and um, that's an interesting. Do you notice the radiators everywhere? There's I a do. radiator in every room and they're huge. I do. I see the radiators. They never got cold, these. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, this is, yeah, radiators all through this. I'll true this place. I'll true it. All right, let's go down here to the end of the hall, back where we started, guys. Now, here's the staircase. Let's get out here and take a, That's a couple That's the same steps. carpet, man. So this carpeting is the same as it was back then? You, you remember this? It's the this. same from the 60s. <laughs> wow. It's Stain Master. It must be. Okay, second floor, green carpeting. Green carpeting. 
Picture Jesus. Another one. Okay. I'm and guessing, but I think that's when Joey and Marion had different residences. They actually, because they had, they got a divorce. Right. On paper. On paper, but didn't some, now some people have said in the comments, Red, that there's some kind of, uh, there's some kind of uh, uh, thing that, that possibly they, they weren't really, they were still living together, but they did that legally, so things would be in there, something like that. In Marion's name. There. Right, be in Marion's name instead of that. That's a fact. Um, Rhonda Moretti, is there a buried time capsule? I don't know. I don't. How think would so. I? I, I think know. that the damn building itself and everything inside looks like a time capsule to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy Rhodes, how much are they asking for the building? Six hundred and six hundred and seventy something, I think, is what I what I saw. So plus the price of the wrecking ball. Six hundred k, right? Um, Scott H, the stain master, to make it easier to clean him bloods. Jesus. Uh, James Clinton, 600000 right? That's what it's going for. Mickey Griggs, it's good to see you. Hey, by the way, guys, Scott H. was out here like uh, maybe two weeks ago. It was somewhere right around Christmas time. I know, I know that. And Scott took the tour. And on the tour that day, there was a guy named Luke who also came along, who Luke's going to start watching the channel. He was super enthralled with the whole thing and, and meeting and all. So um, yeah, so Scott H, thanks for uh, thanks for coming out and taking the uh, taking the Vegas mob tour. It was uh, it was nice to see you again. Hey guys, welcome back to Mob Vlog. And today I just finished a mob tour with Luke and with Scott H. You guys all know Scott H. Luke's hey new. Guys. Luke's gonna start watching hey, the channel. How you doing? How you what, doing? What'd you guys think of the tour? Oh, unbelievable! Adam is just first class. Great information. Great tour, fascinating. Ten out of ten. Awesome, thanks, Luke. Did I butter you up good enough? No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you buttered me up just just fine. <laughs> What'd you think, Scott? Incredible. If you're coming to uh, Vegas, you got to stop and see Adam. Take the tour, but before you lose your money. Okay, so see Adam first. Take yeah. the tour. You'll have a great time. You're gonna learn a lot. And you're gonna have a awesome. fun time too. Really Give cool. me your money though before you lose it. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. And thanks again, thanks again, Scott and Luke, for coming on the tour and uh, leaving me that cool little uh, video. There's a man that there's a man here that asked a question. Um, it's uh, uh, did Joey get along with Jews? Adam, Adam, uh, what's his name? Adam, yeah, Adam there Crane. it is. Yes, yes, of course he got along with Jews. Irv Weiner, I mean, there was a lot of Jews he got along with. Alan Dorfman. Okay. All Lucky right. Rosenthal. So, <clears throat> yeah. Well, the Italians and the Jews, they got along really well. Because the Mesh. Italians, they knew how to get the money. The Jews, they knew what to do with the money. They complemented each other very <laughs> nicely. It's true, isn't it? It is. Uh... Big boy blue, can't wait till you get out here and take me for a steak dinner. That'd be great. Adam Butel, hey man, how's it going? It's good to see you again, buddy. I haven't seen Adam's a magician in Chicago. This guy's hilarious. He does the same thing that I do. We should, we should say we both do the same trick, this floating cigarette thing. It's hilarious oh, because he's Adam he's, Butel. No, he's always on Man Cow Muller. And okay. uh, he's always on Man Cow. Man Cow's always talking about Adam. And uh, and one day I remember I was like 19 and I went into work. I was working in a machine shop. And all these guys were co workers, like, You were on Man Cow. You were on Man Cow. I was like, What are you talking about? They're like, Man Cow was talking about the magician Adam with the floating cigarette. That was you, right? And I'm like, No, but how do you guys are screwing with me? There can't be another Adam in Chicago that does this thing, right? That's a magician. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Anyway, Adam's an awesome guy. It's good to see you, buddy. I haven't seen you in a minute. Um, you should check the alley on Google Maps. I think the gangway's not there anymore. We could check that, but let's go back into the house. Let's 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 continue through uh, Joey Lombardo's house here. 
And let me uh, let's change the setting around. There we go. That way we can all see. So red plastic over the couches. Or I'm sorry, plastic over the clear red couches. Plastic. It was always clear. <laughs> yeah, clear plastic over the red couches. And look at the dang lamps in here. Man, look at that lamp. I mean, I nice actually style. I actually find nice that style. lamp. <laughs> I I I uh yeah, I I would I'd love to have that lamp, man. That's a nice lamp. You notice lamp. how there's curtains and then there's drapes. Every yes, room sir. has curtains and drapes. Yeah, every well, you don't want to leave that window open without a drape. People can see in. Right? You just want light to come in. Yeah, but the uh, shears, the shears that were there kind of blacked out view, but the drapes, that meant it was dark in there. Hey Red. What? Is that is that a bonsai tree? Yes, it is. What are you doing a yes, bonsai tree in there? Is this his? Uh, or do you think somebody else would put this in here? No, I believe he did. He had one from Old Town. He liked them. He, he used to admire them. There was a guy next door to me who was Japanese, a bowl roll in the cave. And he was, uh, I don't know, he sent to Ohio to inter internment camps during World War II. And he yeah. came to Chicago, and Frank and I used to sit in there, Joey and I used to sit in there. It was right next door to me. Wow. Yeah, no, that totally, That maybe that's why, you know, Scott H., the lamp looks like a woman's, it does, it looks like a, uh, like a corset, doesn't it? Yes. The way it's, it looks like a corset, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, Kevin Coleman, look at those radiators. Yeah, check out those radiators. Everywhere. Look at that. Is that they put wood over the top of it? You can sit oh, yeah. on top of the radiator for heat? Yeah, you can stay a little so, bit warm. There's a cushion there. Wow. Wow. Okay, let me let me zoom out and spin us around slowly here to the other side where there is a clock, sunburst clock, and then the, the look at this, the scales on the clock right here, the scales. I don't remember. I know the scales. But I don't ever remember seeing that clock. <laughs> yeah. But the photographs there, you don't want to zoom in them. That nah, nah, we don't need to no. do that. No, That's no, no. personal. No. Again, this is all this is public. This is online. So anybody who wants to go in and looks at it, go look at it. But I'm not gonna make a point of another radiator in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, in the bathroom, you got a radiator <laughs> everywhere, right? Yeah. I mean the radiator's all over this place. And hey, by the way, guys. Hit the like button if you're just coming in here. Um, make sure that the hit the like button. Yeah. All right. Like so, Adam's shows because they're good. They're more drapes and another curtains and radiator. another another radiator. Yeah, with a wooden seat on it. See that? That's and this this place is a time capsule. It really is. All right. This is the second floor kitchen. All right. Second floor kitchen and. I don't know, Red. Does it look to you like that's original tile on the wall? That is that is original tile. All the woodwork and everything is original. If you look at uh -huh. the handles, the doorway coming in, it's all there's the pantry. Um, but it looks uh -huh. like somebody's packing up to move everything out of there. Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> when you're getting ready to sell a house, that's what you have to do. I mean, you have to, you know, you got to pack it up, right? <laughs> well, not only that, uh, I think the only living relative is Joe Jr., Another radiator. Oh, I don't want to zoom in on this, but I have to. I have to, Red. Okay. I didn't notice this when we walked through here before. Can you read that? Those are children's blocks. Yeah. Kids play with those. D. Nidro. D Nidro. Okay. Well, people are spelling things. There is a phone at the big damn buttons. Are those buttons big enough? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is the second floor, guys. We're going to go down now to the lower level and take a walk through the lower level. So give me a second to navigate. By the way, look at that. Look at that picture, Red. Yeah. You think that that picture right here is something they would have had hanging up? I don't know. I don't recall it. Don't recall it, huh? It's a cool looking picture and it matches the drapes. Okay, so back into the 
hall here and let's go down the stairs. Another radiator in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, there's another one right there. Right? Radiators everywhere. Okay. Um. Okay, now this looks like the. It's an basement, English yeah. basement. It's not really a, a basement basement. It's an English basement. It's only like four steps to get up and into it. Yes. So, so do you think that Joe Lombardo put the picture of the clown up down there, or yes, I do. You do. You guys, yes, I are, do. you guys are seeing this, right? You guys are looking at this like. I mean, if your nickname was the clown, maybe you would have a picture of a clown. I don't well, know. Well, if you notice the picture, he's very sad. Okay. Look at the picture. He's very sad. Yeah, it's a sad clown. Yeah. It's not the it's like a hobo clown, actually. You know, with yes, the, the, the makeup. Usually you'd have a stick with the little bag, you know, hanging on the end of the stick. I don't um, think you ever sat for any portraits, <laughs> Joey. <laughs> well i'm not saying that but it was uh here that's an old pick and that was that was all over in that time period so that was a that was something that was reproduced all over the place looks like hal was the artist h-a-l so um with a black eye i don't know if it has a black eye adam but uh i mean he does have darkness under his eyes but you know yeah it's a hobo clown see that's what i say john wayne gacy mark rover um no uh no. red was was joey present when the spilatros were killed no he was not he was in prison okay there you go you got that cleared up spirit of justice he would have never okayed it never given the okay he would have never given the okay so let's move through here um and let me turn turn around you guys are going to find this i found this fascinating this right here i think you guys will too so here is there's two rooms and what what red you believe that joey lived in these rooms i believe he moved her, i saw the the things in the hallway now and he was all over the place so i believe he lived in all the rooms i mean it was like one big house so here's a <clears throat> here's a cabinet you know uh, uh with some uh, uh compartments and you have another radiator hats. another radiator <laughs> another radiator yeah another radiator a candelabra up on top, look at the nice candelabra. And here is a closet. The closet is filled with- Look at the suits on the bottom. The suits on the bottom. Look at all the track, well, wait a second. Look at all the track suits right here, right? Well, they were <laughs> jogging suits. He, he wore a lot of jogging suits. That was a, that was a lot of guys did though back in that, that period. Um, so, there are uh see the camel hair or cashmere uh pants they're hanging there right here no or down here yeah right there yeah i think there's like four or five pair of them there <laughs> cashmere pants man right. that's that's living it up right there and then check out the uh check out the shoe rack here those are his shoes no doubt in my mind about it 100 percent yeah, see, Scott H., you're bringing it up, man. The the um, are, are his clothes still there? I, looks like it. Which does the family some live them, there? Some of them. It looks like maybe they they removed things out, or over the years they moved things out. Yeah, Adam Cram was Joey a ladies' man? Not really. He's more of a family. Uh, <laughs> Tony was a ladies' man. Joey was more of a family man. Okay. Not to mention, well, he probably, you know, I know he had something on the side whenever he went on town. I think I told you about the chain, the gold chain with Mikey Switek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told the story, right. Yeah, I think the salt water he went shrink to it. <laughs> Right, right. Um, Adam, Adam Cram again. Um, I think Joey was a decent guy. Dave and Wolfie, Adam, he was a sharp dresser. Sure was, man. Those are some nice shoes, I'd say. Um, Salmonella. Salmonella. God, what a name, Sal. 
<laughs> Salmonella. That reminds me of my uncle. I had an uncle, Uncle uh, Sam, and he married my aunt Ella, and they opened up a they opened up a diner on the side of the highways called Sam and Ella's. It didn't work out. I don't know why. Uncle <laughs> Sam and Ella. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those black and white shoes are gangster shoes. Yes, they are. Cindy Workman, we are inside Joey the Clown Lombardo's house right now. Uh, his building, it's up for sale, and there's a walkthrough on Redfin. So we're just uh, walking through the house, taking a look around at uh, taking a look around at all of this. So, yes. <laughs> Let's turn around here and walk into this back room. People talk about me being a hoarder. He was a hoarder, too. <laughs> okay, so back here we have a bed. And uh, and then an old, no, not old, an ancient <laughs> Panasonic television. This isn't old. This isn't vintage. This is ancient, all right? And look at the remote, the old remote on the top with the four now, that buttons. Now, that was a chime remote. When you push the button, it would make a chime. And that would the chime would go with the TV. It wasn't like uh, infrared like we have now. So this changes the color too of it, right? The hues oh, and yeah. stuff in the TV you could do with the remote. Yeah, you change the hues. This is crazy old. Who would still have that sitting there? You know what I mean? Like who would? It's that's. Anyway, all right. So there's a newer TV, little Toshiba over here, um, and then some books, tapes, shoes, a dust buster. An old Zenith television box and more pictures of Jesus. There's pictures of Jesus everywhere. And, and another radiator. <laughs> and another radiator. Well, you know, if you got a radiator, you got to have another picture of Jesus to go along with it. So why not? Each room blesses the radiator. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look at this. You're a world of sunshine. Somebody else had to have lived here. He wouldn't have put that up, right? Yeah, he would have. He would have. He had a sense of humor. That's why you called him the clown. He had a sense of humor. Um, Lord knows what he's thinking. He never told you. Adam, do you want to see those tapes? I'll go back to them, sure. So can I zoom in on the tapes, the VHS tapes? Let's see what movies he was into here. All right. Looks to me like... River dance. I'm spotting river dance right here. Yes. All right. And then everything else looks like RCA, Memorex, Scotch, you know, all pre records. I can't read any of the sides of, those of them. Pre records were from me because I used to give him tapes of events. I will tell you this, though, right over here on the side, which you guys can't see because that's all blocking it. But these, these aren't normal VHS tapes right here. These are those old, uh, uh, is it half-inch tape? Yes, they were. Right? Those are professional. That's like from a, like a television studio would use right. those. Back in those days, that's what they did anyway. So that's the best I could show you, Adam. Uh, <clears throat> Gregory Hart, home pornos. No, God. No. You guys, you know, Gregory, if the gutter closed, your mind wouldn't have anywhere to live. <laughs> all right so let's walk down the hallway a little further and here's another another bathroom no radiator in it unbelievable no radiator yeah, that's a miracle <laughs> it's a miracle here's another radiator in this room i don't know what oh that's well, it's in the basement set. maybe you never closed the door to the bathroom well, maybe not. Maybe I know there's open. plenty of TVs around, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of more. There's another TV. I don't know what this contraption is here in front of us, but it has a TV. Looks like a treadmill, actually, folded up, maybe. Yeah, could be. Could be. I, I don't know. Just taking a guess there. A little stab in the dark. Okay, into the... Ooh, this is like now, the laundry Now, see the explosive brick on the wall to the left, back there? Yes. That's the way the whole place looked before it got remodeled. All right, hold on. What you're telling me is, is that upstairs, downstairs, everything looked like this brick, and then they put paneling over it? 
No, just in the just in the English basement. Like over okay. here to the right was uh, storage lockers, and over that side was brick. And right. then they rebound it. And then look at the clotheslines. Oh See yeah, clotheslines. Get your clothes outside when it's raining, <laughs> or inside when it's raining. Yeah, look at all <laughs> clotheslines. Man, that wouldn't work for me. I'd get tripped up in those things as tall as I am. <laughs> you couldn't walk in that basement. It was no. only like it was only at like eight and a half foot high. <laughs> okay, so now you see the steps on how many steps it goes to go outside. Four steps up, right? To get out. Oh, that's interesting. This thing knows. And that would have gone back to his garage. Over here, right up here. There's the meters over there for each one. Each floor has its own electric. Right, meter. each floor has its own electric meter, which. Uh, there's the electric. And there's the main alarm board. This box right here is the alarm right. system. Above it, I think you're going to find uh, yeah speaker. I think it's go a whop a whop a whop a whop and make real loud noise. <laughs> and then over here, that's an alarm system right there uh, to turn right. it off, right? With the red, green, and yellow light, it looks like on it. Right. Boy, and there's a lot of. Okay, and then down here. All right, I yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> tell me what is what is this blue? I know this is a water heater. This I'm guessing is a heater, but this is this the is this for the radiators? This is the boiler. Okay, and it's a modern boiler, and believe me, that boiler did the whole building. It heats up real fast. It's gas. Um. Um. Scott H. said Italians don't like dryers. <laughs> yeah, there's two well, of them in here. Oh, my gosh. All right, hold on. I got to I gotta step over to this spot so I can see because the pole's blocking. All right. Is that a Kenmore dryer, like with a ringer up here and everything? You where you run it. the clothes through the ringer and you got to crank it? Or maybe it's electric. You don't have to crank. My, my busha, my grandma, that she had electric. one with that a crank. Electric. No, that was electric, but... Uh, they hung up their clothes on those wire on the lines, clothes lines. Right. Wow. They had That's... all they had a dryer if they needed it, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then you got the sump pump down here that I'm familiar with. A Everybody clothes had dryer, them. clothes washer, double sink. Is that another dryer right over here? Yes, it is. And clothes are hang hanging up there. Trying. Yeah, clothes clothes are blocking the dryer, but that's another dryer right there, one that you you know you run through the ringer, and then I guess there's a chair to sit in while you're watching your clothes dry on the on the <laughs> line. <laughs> well, you gotta have somewhere to sit down. Yeah, two more <laughs> hours should be dry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the damn pipes too, man. Golly. That's a plumbing nightmare if you had to go in there and fix it, you know? Uh, you tracking pipes for days. So so there's the house, guys. And uh, anything you want to go back over in the comments? We have a few minutes left, but I knew that this episode was going to take us probably an hour to get through it, and we're 45 minutes in. Um, but if there's somewhere else that you want me to uh, walk you guys through, I can do that. Or if you have some questions for Red, um, we can do that as well. So, uh, you guys, uh, you guys let us know what you want to do. And, uh, and that's what we'll do. Yes. They were uh, all galvanized steel pipes, Scott H outside there. There's three mailboxes too. Yes. On the, on the lower floor. I there. the same thing. Recess. Mm-hmm. Man, old stain master carpeting like this. I think my favorite well, floor is the top the floor. You cannot see the yard. I really think that the top floor is where I, yeah. I, I don't know. It's this wallpaper. It's the, it's the tile and it's that kitchen that I just, I really, I really like. This looks so, it looks so much like a magician would live here. It does. It looks like a magician would live there. Seriously, with all the red and the black furniture and red drapes, and it's uh, it's reminiscent to uh, to that. Look up some of Blackstone's magic kits. Those were the main colors that they always but used. To them, it was comfort. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, it's I'm not 
you know, I'm not saying that, but this, this striped paper, this gold and red and with the floors, it looks, I don't want this to come out the wrong way to anybody. Okay. So I'm trying not to, uh, David Cullum, see, you're already starting in on me. Clown, not a magician. He's a clown, not a magician. Adam Boutel, it looks like the magic castle. See, that's what I'm trying to say, right? It looks yeah. like the magic castle. Uh, have you been to the magic castle? Yes, I have. And it does. It looks like the magic castle in there. Sure does. Um, I mean, it resembles it, okay? It kind of looks that's like the magic castle in Riverview. Yeah. It, it's... <laughs> It's just, I don't know, this whole, this, this room, though, is intriguing to me. It really is. And then this kitchen here down the hallway. I mean, I like this room as well, the dining room. Again, red and black. You yeah. know, it's the black chairs, red drapes. It that looks, looks like, like a, a new pedestal table. Uh, Gregory Hart, the fuzzy on the wallpaper absorbs a lot of smoke. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I wonder if it smells from the smoke. I mean, I, I don't know if you can clean that, uh, that, yes, that, that flock. You can steam clean it. You can steam clean the flock? Yes. Wow, I'd be afraid to steam clean. I'd be afraid to start coming people off do the it. Wall. It comes out all yellow. The water comes out all yellow in the tank. Wow. Well, that's all that nicotine and tar and all that that gets caught up this from the cigarettes and cigars. So, um, Gabby Rodriguez, uh, <clears throat> is this Joey the Clown's house? Yes, it is. It's at... We got to keep saying this 2210 Ohio Street in Chicago. It's for sale. You can look it up on Redfin and you could look through it again. Um, you okay. Probably, you probably Squid put it in the description downtown, down at the bottom, you can probably put the address there. Uh, um, yeah, I, I could do that. I'll put it in the description after we're, uh, after we're done going live. Squid Moto, the blocks upstairs said D Negro. Wasn't Negro his wife's maiden name? That's correct. Boom. There we go. It makes sense now. See, I was afraid that there was some kind of racial slur happening up there no, when I first no. looked at it. And I was like, no, that was what, his wife's what? maiden name. Okay. So, so, so yeah, they got to still own the house then, right? Right. I mean, it's got, it's, it, okay. It's got to be. It's still in the family that owns it. So, yeah, this, this kitchen with this wallpaper, I mean, look. Guys, if you were sitting in there, Scott H., you know it too. If you dropped acid in there, you wouldn't be able to leave that room. <laughs> Safely. <laughs> the walls would come alive, and then the yes. floor would start moving around with that checkerboard. You wouldn't make your way the hell out of there. you get stuck. You'd end up in the corner under the counter crying like a little baby. Because, man, that... Not all, I can tell you right now, you can assume no bad deeds were done, bad deeds were done there. I can almost assure you because Joey didn't ship where he ate. <laughs> Joey didn't what? Ship where he ate. Oh, gotcha. No, yeah, it'd be stupid to do stuff like that, you know, right in the... Um, in his own home? I... Yeah, yeah. Looks like a coffin, shy girl. Uh, two cross, Frank Collada knew him well. I don't know how well Frank did. I know Frank knew him without a doubt, um, 100%, uh, because of some of the stories Frank told. I don't know how well, though. So Well, he went out to, to uh, Frank Coletta's uh, uh, disco, Spanky's. Yeah. On Hollow cool. Avenue. You're right. Uh, you're actually, you're right, Eric G. The carpet matches the drapes in this place. It's red and red. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Stevie Wonder was the interior designer. I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> uh, and then this, this, this room, this room here, this den, red, that ceiling. I love that ceiling. That's a Whatever. cork ceiling. That's cork. That's cork. That's cork ceiling. It's got grains in it. Well, it goes every which way. They're pieces wow. of cork, and they, like, staple them up there. It's very good for soundproofing. In interesting. I like it. It looks it looks really nice. I notice how he has the fans all around, too. Ceiling fans. 
Yeah, Cuban Cuban fans. I have them all Cuban over my house. Ceiling fans are great. Um, Adam there Cram. No air, no. There's an air conditioner in every room. There was no central air in that building. No, just heater, radiator. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Notice all the air conditioners in the windows. It's probably more when they were, you know, living in there. I'm sure they oh, took some of them it. out. So, Gregory Hart. It was listed in August for eight hundred thousand, and it's currently at six hundred and sixty-five thousand. So, Dave and Wolfie, you will not buy it for three hundred thousand, unless, of no. course, they lower the price to three hundred thousand. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, okay, Mark Rover. If there's hidden money. It's in the TV. There is no hidden money. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> uh, what year was uh, What year was uh, Joey active uh, till on the street? 2005. 2005. He was like and he went the concierge. Conci you know, he was the. I don't know. Conciliere. Yeah. Right. Um, so he was he got he out was, of prison and he didn't want to be with the mob anymore, period. But he couldn't stop his ways, like many. Right. Shy girl, they would have to pay me to take it. <laughs> I guess you're not a fan of this decoration inside, Shy girl. Guess not. I even like the front of the bar, they did like stripes on the wood, you know, in the, in the front of the bar. See that. Yeah, that's actually looks like it's inset. Yeah, it is. Those are those are those are individual. Um, I don't know. It looks like one by two covered with for my lattice work. The lattice work. I thought lattice was crisscross like this. OK, they're they're straight lattice. OK, they're like uh, Fair enough. Uh, like a half inch thick by uh, two inches wide. Mark Rover feels evil. It feels evil in there, really. You think it feels evil? Huh? Which told me to me. I, I'm kind of fascinated with it. I, I like the way that it. Uh, I like the way it looks. But then again, maybe I'm maybe that's because I'm evil. <laughs> can you imagine somebody walking through your home, listeners? Can you imagine somebody walking through your home and seeing everything the way it is? I know I wouldn't want it. Would you, Adam? No, um, I wouldn't want that. But again, I wouldn't do this if somebody was still living there. But it's it's obviously you know it's for sale. It's out there. You put yeah. uh, Ben's five hundred uh, R depressing place. Well, I don't like it either. That's un unreal. Johan Den Ritter, oh. greetings from the Netherlands. Yes, Johan. Johan's the one that ordered a book for me. He's in Amsterdam. Oh, is he the one that you with, that you were telling me about with the? Yeah. Oh, what a mess! Jeez, it's hard to yeah, ship books. Order books from Amsterdam or, you know, someplace where it's impossible. I have to send you an invoice to ship it. It costs more than a book. Right. Yeah. It, it's um, it's it's crazy, but that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. So, yeah. Uh, reminds me of Graceland, David Cullum. I have not been in Graceland, so I couldn't. I have nothing. Graceland to had flat to. paper, and the doors were all padded. Really? Yeah. This is this room right here. Padded leather. God, this room right here with the the the. Jeez. Uh, I bet that was his daughter's room, because his daughter passed away a long time ago. He was in prison when his daughter passed away. That was some time ago. Every family has its tragedies. Above all, he was a man. He was a human being. He may have done some bad things when he was younger, but I think he paid. He paid the ultimate price. Alberto Lopez, what do you got up there? 
Sorry, yeah, uh, Alberto Lopez, is it just me or do Chicago gangsters last longer than New York gangsters? They do last longer. Uh, Adam Cram, I, you know, I don't know if, do you, I don't know, I don't even know if you know this, Red, or not. Uh, did his daughter OD? I believe she did. Adam says he's a recovering addict. Well, God bless Adam. Kids, take it one day at a time, buddy. Um, uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, no, I, my, my mic was uh, off for a second. I was, I had to yell at my dog for a second. Um, <laughs> I like it. I'd like to own it. However, Chicago's pretty scary right now. Cindy, yes, you that neighborhood is not good. That's why I said even with the price, that doesn't come with the wrecking ball. <laughs> Because who buys it's going to take it down. You couldn't pay me to live in Chicago. You, you couldn't pay me to live there. I wouldn't go there. Wouldn't do it. No way. No way. Not the way that it is now. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, Adam, Chicago. come on. A million a year? A million a year? <laughs> See? Right, maybe for a million a year. Maybe for a million a year. <laughs> I'll live in Chicago. You what the hell? Why not? Well, there's a price <laughs> curve they get them. <laughs> Oh man. Hey Mo, how's it going? Uh Danny Seifert wasn't innocent, Mark. My no, he Mark wasn't. Rover. No, he wasn't. The man hey, killed Mo. innocent people. It's good to see you, Mo. Hope that you're having a good uh holiday season. Yes, and and, and happy new year to you. Because we might not see you again. I'm gonna go on again, so and wish everybody a happy new year. I may be, may be able to before the New Year's or at New Year. We'll see. We'll see what, what's happening. I, I actually took New Year's Eve off, Red. I said I'm going to take one day off. I worked Christmas Day. I took I took eight people out Christmas Day for a, for a tour. I had the evening off, but the day I went and worked. Uh, you know, I get to work when everybody else gets to party. So that's just how it goes. What are you going to do? <laughs> It's like being a bartender. <laughs> exactly. You work when everybody else is off of work. That's what entertainment's all about. Um, who runs the mob now, Randy Rhodes asked. Politicians. Which mob? <laughs> Politicians. They run the it Italian all. Italian mob? It's, I don't think there's much left of it. I, I think everybody's on their own. That's my opinion. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. Hey, by the way, guys, Scott H. came out here and took the mob tour. And uh, this guy, Luke, came along on the tour that day. And it was, it was kind of cool. It was only the two of them, which is unusual to only have two going out. But I took them out, and uh, and it was it was a lot of fun. We had a blast here. Luke's, Luke's actually starting to watch the channel now. He, uh, he enjoyed so much uh, of, of uh, Scott and I bantering during the tour about the uh, the channel. So he's Jim Magnifici. Jim Magnifici. Uh, they not only owned, owned land down there in Florida, they also owned a golf course. It was in both their names. And when the divorce was done, it went reverted to Marion. So all that land that they sold in Florida and the golf course and everything, it went to Marion. Hmm. Um, Cindy Workman, thank you very much for the super sticker, darling. I uh, really do appreciate you. And Adam Cram, the mob were better than these evil politicians. I, I'll agree with you on that, just from what you know. But I guess they got their, you know. I guess there's a good and bad of all of it, as there is with anything in life, right? There's a good and bad of it. So, yeah. Um, politicians are the worst. I agree with you, Craig. Lori Lightfoot couldn't shine, Joey's. <laughs> Couldn't shine Joey's shoes. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, that's really hilarious. So, I guess so, Dave and Wolfie, when you have a business, you always have to work. It's true. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's it. Whenever you, you wake up, you're on the job. That's how it is for me anyway. I wake up, I'm on the job. It's like, what do I have to get done it's today? It's not a job, it's your life. It's a lifestyle. Um, it, it is, but at least I like doing it. You know, it's something uh, they, they say to me all the day, man, you're so passionate about this. Why do something if you're not going to be passionate about it? So Perfect. again, Scott, thanks for taking the tour. Hey guys, welcome back to Mob Vlog. And today I just finished a mob tour with Luke 
and with Scott H. You guys all know Scott H. <laughs> Luke's hey, new. Guys. Luke's going to start watching hey, the channel. How you doing? How you what, doing? What'd you guys think of the tour? Oh, unbelievable. Adam is just first class, great information, great tour, fascinating. 10 out of 10. Awesome. Thanks, Luke. Did I butter you up good enough? No, that's good. Yeah, good. you buttered me up just, just fine. <laughs> What'd you think, Scott? If you're coming to uh, Vegas, you got to stop and see Adam. Take the tour, but before you lose your money. Okay, so see Adam first, take okay. the tour, you'll have a great time. You're going to learn a lot, and you're going to have a awesome. fun time, too. Really Give cool. me your money, though, before you lose it. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks again, Scott, for taking the tour. And Luke, I'm sure you're watching uh, at this, or you will be at some point. So, um, <clears throat> Dave and Wolfie, Adam in action. Michigan Mafia, MX, good afternoon. Welcome in. Um, <clears throat> we're just I've wrapping never this seen him up. before, Michigan Mafia. He's new. Hey, Adam Cram. Uh, I'm Michigan Mafia, I have not seen your name either. Be sure to hit the like button if you're new here. Um, yeah. I see that you're already prescribed, but uh, it shows me if you're prescribed. But yeah, if you haven't, hit the uh, the prescribe button and hit the like button. And Adam Cram, if your uh, probation lets you go to Vegas, you're going to do the tour? Hey, bring your probation officer with. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll give him half off on his ticket, all right? <laughs> David Cullum, you'll take the tour next time you're in town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to that. Bring a friend with, okay, David. Don't come by yourself. Bring a friend with. And if you don't have a friend, there's plenty of hookers in Las Vegas that you can hire and bring along on the tour. <laughs> oh my God! All right. So off topic. Shy Town Savage. Uh, everybody wants to know about Willie Potatoes Dodano. He was a heavy hitter. Did you know him? Dodino. No, I did not know him. I knew his son, uh, Anthony Dodino, Jeeps. That was his son. He worked for Louis Emily. Okay. Well, there you go. Elizabeth Francis. Haven't seen you in a minute. Shag carpeting, flocked wallpaper, red and gold, a time capsule of why the 70s may have had the best rock and roll, but the least aesthetic sense. <laughs> Very true, Elizabeth. Yes. <laughs> Although I'm digging it, man. I really am. I would love to live in that room. It looks like a magician would live there. I would change out that statue, though. I would get rid of that poodle statue. Is that a poodle or is that a lion? That's a that's lion. A poodle. That's no, a that's poodle. a lion. That's a lion. I'm sure it's a lion. No, it's perfect. Oh. I'd leave the oh. lion. Close up in on it. That's as close as I can get on it. Okay. You'd have to enlarge your screen, but that's a lion in the front on the face. The hair, though, looks like a poodle around it, but that's supposed to be its mane, the lion's mane. But that's Could definitely the mane come out a little bit further. <laughs> and the tail. See the tail, how it comes up over the, the leg in the back there? Yeah. Anyway, I would totally leave that in there. Siegfried and Roy would have left it in there, too. Um, <laughs> Tony Padula. I almost had to put the clown down. He opened, he owned a card club and my grandfather and my father and him had a physical fight my father said if he disappears take the clown down wow tony your dad gave you specific instructions that if he disappeared you're going to take down the clown you almost shit a brick yeah who wouldn't that's crazy it's a lion noodle thank you you're roy boy your your boy roy boy uh it's a lion noodle it sure is looks like a lion noodle it's a sheep. That's what Brett thinks. Hey, Brett. How you doing, buddy? That's SD Rooster. It's a house lion. Sure looks like it anyway. So. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just want to just want to clear this up uh, because I don't want anybody saying, oh, you offended me and that's not cool. So, David Cullum, I'm not insinuating that you would have to get a hooker to go on the tour to have a friend. I'm sure you could meet a nice girl while you're here in Vegas. But, you know, if, if you just wanted to, you know, grab somebody to come along with, I'm just saying there's plenty of plenty of escort. I'm not saying that you can't get a, a girl. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll run into somebody you like and it's a buddy and you say, hey, let's go. Let's yeah, see. maybe. That's, that's all good. So, the houses today look like nursing home cafeterias. <laughs> They're different from back then. They sure are. They're a lot more plain. I don't personally, I don't like the way restaurants are going. You go into a Chipotle or any of that, look up. It's just duct work 
and it open and they paint it all and it's tile floor and it echoes and there's and you sit there and you can't hear anything because it's so damn loud in a restaurant and every restaurant's doing that they used to have drop ceilings and carpeting and you know and it absorbed the sound now i don't know what the hell is going on i'll accept i'll accept the copper ceilings when they had the copper ceilings that were copper like we saw in, uh, the pressed tin yeah pressed tin that was nice looking too well, they also had pressed copper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan Lardino. It's not a great area over there anymore. For that kind of money, you can invest in a modern home in the suburbs. Yes. That place has got too much work to do in it. Yeah. You go buy a house in Calumet City. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> All right. So... I hope that you guys had fun. Red, it's been fun seeing you again. And I know we've talked over the holidays. We haven't been uh, we haven't been on though in a minute. So uh so everybody's so, been asking for you. Why well, everybody was wondering what was I going on you're, too. You're, you're working. I told them Adam's busy at work. This and you know what, guys, I gotta take advantage too. When the busy time's here and I can make the money. I got to make the money because I'm going to tell you what, next month I'm going to be sitting around, okay, with my thumb, you know where. So, <laughs> so yeah, I got to make it while it's, while it's here. Um, thank you, Mo. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Glad that you enjoyed the show. Glad that you guys all enjoyed it. And I'm glad that you guys all showed up for this. Um, it's been good to see you and say, uh, say hello uh ben's ben's 500 r uh you guys are cool as hell well thank you very much ben's oh, no, that's really... not very cool take it easy there ben <laughs> hell's not very cool <laughs> <laughs> heard. david cullum a happy new year uh to you as well uh thanks for watching scott h food for sex what's wrong with that <laughs> you mean sex for food scott not food for sex <laughs> or maybe you're in for the food for sex thing who knows some people like the sex with the food that's a little weird but Jim Magnifici thank you so much Gregory Hart thank you for being here today and happy new year Gregory happy new year Brett happy new year to all you guys I've seen yeah I'm, very, for... I'm, I'm gonna do a broadcast between now and then so I'll talk to you and we look forward to uh, we look forward to doing the next show. If we don't know ne now next next month, guys, in January, I've got it all already opened up for uh, Wednesdays, so we should be good all next month to uh, to do this. And uh, Gregory Hart, Happy New Year to you too. Be careful, Chris Edmondson, Brian Glade, Rhonda Moretti. Thank you guys so Jager much. Jager says there's a uh, hundred twenty. Red, why did you block me? I, I, I'll tell you what, Tony. You don't have to ask that question on a live show. Well, I don't think Tony has to ask it, period. But as long as it doesn't matter. Tony, I hope that you had a good Christmas, and I hope that you have a happy New Year, buddy. Yes. Um, Scott I H., I heard Al Capone's. You're a happier person. Well, I, I hope that we're all happier people next year. <laughs> But then again, you know what? When we went from 2020 to 2021, I was like, oh, thank God 2020 is over. And it's just like this whole last 12 months was a continuation of 2020. <laughs> Never thought that I would say that because I used to get on people for saying, I wish this year would end. I'm like, well, what's going to be different about next year? Now it's just like, eh. Uh, Cindy, how's Joe? Joe chimed in earlier. I don't know, Joe, if you're still watching, but I hope that you and your family have had a wonderful holiday season, and I wish you a happy new year. Uh, Adam Cram, happy new year to you, too. You guys are awesome. Albert Lopez, thank you. Happy new year. Ra Randy Rhodes, um, Sean Pender, happy new year. Uh, you do things your way. I'll do things mine, Scott H. <laughs> okay, Scott H. We got e to e <laughs> either way, Scott. You'll have something warm in your belly. <laughs> yes, one way or the other. M. Broder, a few things uh, on there is buy if they were. Hold on, a few things on there is buy if they were to have an estate sale. Uh, 
a few things on there I'd buy if they were to have an estate sale. Yeah, like those lamps, those red lamps that look oh, like yeah. a woman's corset. That'd be freaking cool, man. Those look awesome. And Gosh, the red and black. It's kind of like red and black. So, <clears throat> Gregory Hart, blessings to you, too. Uh, M. Broder, Joe's wife's still alive, yes. Oh, she married and uh, passed away. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I apologize. We got confused. You're talking about uh, Joe Lombardo, correct, M. Broder? Um, cause I, I just said, I was just talking about Cindy asked me yeah. how Joe Collada was. And I thought you were asking of Joe Collada and, and no, everything's fine with, uh, with Joe Collada, but no, I, I Joe, um, Lombardo's wife passed away some time ago. Uh, Dave and Wolfie. Yes. The wife is alive. Are you sure about that red? Cause no, she Dave and Wolfie. Away. Okay. She passed away. Um, Pete Byron, you go Uruguay, I'll go Uruguay. Paraguay. And that's South America, Uruguay and Paraguay. He's just a, a what do you call those? Uh, uh, a joke. You go Uruguay, you go, I'll go Paraguay. You go Uruguay, and I'll go <laughs> Paraguay. Open a bottle of cold duck. Yeah, that sounds like fun. We just have to make our own joy. You're, you're damn right. Oh my gosh, Jim Magnifici, a few warm things in your belly, maybe under your belly, depending on who's on top. Jesus. Oh, because I had to go there. I should have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it. Did Alan Dorfman like scotch or Merlot? I have or no Ma idea. Malort? I never drank the man. Don't know. Well, malapropism. I don't know what malapropism is. <laughs> I, I believe he was referring to the uh, Uruguay Paraguay. Got it. Van Pasterman, uh, always good to be positive. You guys, all of you guys, have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with us. And Red, thank you for uh, for for being so awesome and giving of your time to uh, to the channel. We really do appreciate it uh, and appreciate you. And um, thank you very much, Red. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Talk to you God soon, bless. buddy. All of you guys, God bless. Take care. Have a great day. It's been fun. Mob vlog.